السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم on behalf of Marqas Sahaba, the voice of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we present to you lesson number 2374 of our daily nasiha and advice. Today we focus on the 29th of Shawwal with the grace and mercy of Almighty Allah Jalla Wala. The hadith in Ibn Majah on the authority of Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu he states, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم حبيبنا صلى الله عليه وسلم taught us تأوذوا بال تأوذوا بالله من الفقر seek the protection of Almighty Allah from poverty اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الفقر so we become so poor destitute we have to go back for every meal and so forth Allah forbid والقلة and what Allah gives us is diminishing, decreasing. See how many millions of people now unemployed, so many people fired and without any job. So now things go worse and less and less, Allah forbid, with zillati and disgrace. Look at the Muslim Ummah, the Arabs, billions and billions per day, trillions and trillions every year. But what good is that? There's grace upon disgrace. What to izzu man tasha, what to zillu man tasha. Almighty Allah gives honor to whomsoever He wishes, and Almighty Allah disgraces whomsoever He wishes. And when Almighty Allah disgraces, wa may you hinillahu famalahu min mukrim. When Almighty Allah disgraces, then there's none to give honor to that person. Wa antazulima, and that you become a zalim and oppressor. So we start making zulam and oppressing ourselves, oppressing others, oppressing our family members. So that also is haram and we must seek protection. O to the lama, that oh, we are oppressed by others. We can see what is happening in apartheid India, apartheid terrorists and Nazi Israel. And we can see what is happening in other parts of the world. So where the Muslims are oppressed by the enemies, whether it's Christians or Jews, whether it's Hindus or, or Buddhists, whether it is other people, so all these du'as, you call this the chapter of isti'adha. That Imam Nasai brought the whole chapter, the biggest, longest chapter on this. So we should be begging all Almighty Allah for His protection because for us as Muslims, remember, for ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir, Allah alone is the best protector. <coughs> Allah alone is the best protector. <coughs> and, and Almighty Allah alone is the best helper. So we should always read the dua abundantly. For Ni'mal Mawla wa Ni'mal Nasir. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.